Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our No One Gets Out Alive series here in the Long Dark. I'm gonna keep sleeping. We're in the farmhouse here. I just want to sleep uh, until we can actually see. So we'll go ahead and put another hour in. So last episode, we spent some time outside in the cave up near the plane crash. Um, just trying to get rid of our cabin fever. The notification went away very early, but I kind of stayed out there for a while anyway, just to make sure. Um, right, let's take all the torches. I'm still pretty low on fuel, and sticks are better than reclaimed wood, so I probably will go to the trouble of breaking down some of that stuff. Um, anyway, the uh, big excitement today is that we are about to be able to finish our bear coat. But let's go do that straight away. It'll be a big upgrade. And I've got to remember I don't have a bedroll on me. I need to go back to the barn. Let's just finish it. And there we have it. Six and five. Of, up from two and a half and two. So that's a net of plus uh, seven and a half. Um, because it's being worn on the outside. Now that's only in the wind, but still three and a half when not in the wind. And usually when you're not in the wind, you don't need that much of a temperature boost anyway. So pretty big upgrade. I've been working towards this for a long time. We're currently on day 85. Wow. It took me so long to finish that. Um, all right. Now that that's out of the way, let's go upstairs. And we've still got a couple of hours. I might sleep for another hour or two before we head out. I'll have to check the weather. Uh, let's go in here. I think I'm going to leave that other Mackinac. Let's put it on the table here. I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. We're planning to take those with us, and I don't want to forget them. Let's go ahead and grab all of these. I'm going to take the books as well. Use a little bit of extra fuel. Take a peek outside. Okay, clear enough for a mag lens fire. It's like negative 19. That's with... Oh, negative 16 of wind. Okay. Um, tempted to try to get a fire going, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit. Um... All right, I hate to do this, but I need this fuel. So we're going to break these down. This should really be sped up. If they're going to give you the option to do this. They shouldn't make you waste this much of your time. Like, I don't care that it takes up time in the game itself, but we shouldn't have to sit through this. Now, I've got a bear coat that's probably on its way to being cured back at the barn. There's one in Coastal Highway that's probably finished curing. So I think I'm going to take the one from here, carry it back to Coastal Highway, and then we'll be able to craft a second coat when we get back. Uh, I also have ingredients. For deerskin boots. Got to think about whether I want to make those here or make them in Coastal Highway. Probably some of it will come down to just uh, weather. All right, let's make sure that we're not leaving behind any pots or cans that might come in handy. 
Doesn't look like there's anything here. What am I doing for fuel now? I've managed to preserve those two pieces of coal. We have two reclaimed and ten sticks. Two books. These are good for fire starting, but... Oh, I'm down to 16 matches. Alright, let's also go through the kitchen here. I'm just going to look at some of the containers. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, if I was going to store anything in this kitchen, I would have put it in that cabinet. So I think we can safely assume that there's nothing stored away other than the stuff I set out, like the water and teas. Um, just going to leave that there. I don't think I'm even... I probably don't have a pry bar on me. Yeah, I might have left one at the barn, or I might not have even have brought one with me, because um, when we left Coastal Highway, I knew I wasn't going to visit new areas. All right, decision time. Let's see. There's plenty of curtains for gathering cloth, and I think I have more cloth than I know what to do with. There's going to be more at Coastal Highway. Could work on repairing my knife a little bit. I think the main thing, though, is I either need to break down wood, or we just need to get out of here. So let's take another look outside. It does sound very quiet out there. Negative 15 is the temperature. A lot of that is uh, the wind. But the wind is definitely low enough that I could just um, carry a torch out here. Negative 15 would be negative 12 with a torch. Can't do that there. Ah, I was carrying that meat. Shoot. Go inside. Um, I'm going to try to get outside and start a fire. I think we're just going to leave. The weather's too good to ignore. Maybe uh, break down one small item. Just do it by hand. I'll give that wolf time to wander off. Alright, where did I put that meat? Put it up here where it's easier to see. Okay, let's take the free fire. Uh, that's fine. Take the 100% chance. Oh, I need to check how close I am to fire starting five as well. I think that was uh, something I was planning to do in the cave, um, but I forgot between episodes that that was even um, something that I was thinking about. Oh well. We'll get there eventually. This is a pretty big boost. Perfect. Um, let's take a torch off of there. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's just leave that burning. Okay, I can just eat this. We're going to... So we're going to be walking with no scent. That's good. Um, we're going to need some hot teas. And I'm going to need to be fully warm. So I think I actually do need to throw one more stick on there. Alright, back out we go. But I don't think this fire is going to last quite long enough. As is. Yeah. Uh, stick. We'll throw the reishis down. So I have plenty of them. Uh, might be a little more than I was anticipating. Oh my goodness, I got so many reishis now. Alright, let's just warm up the rose hips. That way I can drink that one if I need to. Alright, now we just need something to spend a couple of minutes on in here. While those are cooking up and I'm finishing warming up. Let's see, we've got 50, 43, 41, and 39. I think I keep all of this. Nearly fully warm already. 
See if I left any other torches lying around here somewhere. I could break down one more. Yep, I already spotted that. Okay, well, we're warm, so we'll go. Got the pots and cans I came here for. I'll take one more water. Double check carry weights. Um, hmm. Got water back at the barn. Maybe we'll leave that behind. That way I'll be... Yeah, I think this is fine. Alright, let's go. Oh, fast, fast, fast. Gotta get this fast. Okay, got it. I think I hear a bear. That's not good. It was like negative 15. Okay. Just go around you. That's fine. I think it's far enough to the barn. Yeah, I've got tons of teas. I'm probably not going to risk it. We'll see. I am staying warm for a long time out here. Gotta love the bear coat. It's not that far. Gotta make a decision about the tea in the next little bit here. If I'm gonna drink it, I'll drink it in the next probably five seconds. So yeah, I can see the barn. I've got to have already come a third of the way. And I've got a full energy bar. I'm gonna do some sprinting at the beginning of this. I think it's worth it to preserve the tea. I left some sticks and stuff back over in that corner. Uh, I don't think we're going to go back there. Pretty sure I'm way more than halfway there. The thing is, in some sense, it doesn't really matter when you drink the tea. If I'm going to the barn, I could drink it right before I get to the barn. And I've still gotten the same amount of use out of it because the barn is the stop point. Definitely going to be a little close, especially with this wolf in the way. Two wolves. Can't see the other wolf anymore. Oh my goodness, he's right here. Alright, let's just go. Okay, looks like I made it. Definitely cut it pretty close. But those teas are a finite resource, so... Definitely would not have been able to do that without the bear coat, so... Good idea to go ahead and make it there. Now... Since I've already got a fire going... Let's go ahead and cook up some of this meat. I don't need to use the book right now. Happy to take the 95% chance. Come on, little fire. And before I do anything else here... Let's pick up this. Oh, fire starting five. All right. So that gives me the duration boost. And also, um, well, we'll look at the stats in a minute. This is the first time I've ever had fire starting five. Um, I mean, I think I just usually get bored before I get that far into the game, but pretty hard to get bored 
with Nogoa. Alright, so we got one there. Um, this would be a great time to travel back. Probably want that. What's the condition of this hacksaw? About the same as the one I have. I think I'd probably leave this hacksaw here on the workbench. Well, just leave it right there. I mean, the weather's so nice outside. This could be... This could be really good for traveling back. I think I should go, um, since it's really nice right now, I should go outside and grab some more of that meat and bring it over. Let's just collect everything, and then we'll decide what we're going to leave here and what we're going to take with us. Probably don't need all those deer hides or rabbit pelts or guts. Um, definitely need to think about the saplings. Those tools are definitely staying there. The water's definitely staying there. Um, take a couple pieces of cloth. Definitely taking all the arrowheads. I need to make more arrows. Maybe one each of these. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to choose some stuff to leave behind. Break down these torches. Probably try to travel with very, very few torches on me because they're so heavy. That'll be the last one I break down. I think I'll leave a few here in case I ever come back this way. No point in breaking down 38% torches. Ah, we're tired. Okay, so that's part of it. Yeah, that's already 50% cured. Um, okay, we're fully warm. So definitely go on a little jog in a minute. Let's leave most of the water here. Drink some of this. I don't think I'm going to use a tea. Drop some of these on the ground. I'm just going to leave stuff that I'm probably taking with me, but that I don't need right this minute. All kind of right here. Yeah, I think the goal is to get over to the community center tonight and then sleep there. I think I'm going to take the deer skins and everything back with me. Um, okay, clothing. Those are in fine shape. Those are in fine shape. I'm going to have rabbit skins back in Coastal Highway. So I'm not going to take any of those with me. Um, I do have some deer hides back in Coastal Highway. Those are getting ready to be repaired. Hmm, I think I might have to accept the fact that I'm going to be overweight traveling over there. Let's drop these for now. Haven't decided for sure about them. Saplings. You can get them almost anywhere. Alright, well, I'm only getting more tired. Um, go get that bear meat.
I didn't even warm up a tea. Only negative 10. Probably be fine. But that's a little bit of a, of a mistake. Wind chill is negative 10. So the bear code is probably already paying off. I'm, I'm going to have to check. I'm not sure if the wind chill figure takes into account. Um, your boosts. I'm just not going to mess with these. The, um... The deer are just too hard to hunt for me in this region because, um, I don't know if I shoot them in the wrong place or what, but they just take off with all my arrows. What are you? That's weird. Not sure what's going on with that. Let's head back to the barn. Um... But they just um, take my arrow, they run off to some place that I'll never be able to find them because it's too cold. And the storms are too bad. So I just kind of lose the whole arrow and don't get anything out of it. So I either need to hunt them in smaller areas, like... The ravine or desolation point. Um, or the other option would just be to use areas that are warmer, like coastal highway. And I'm sure once my once my archery skill, both of myself and the player character increases. Um, I'll have more opportunities where I can actually drop the deer. Let's do one more water. This should finish around the same time. I need one more stick on here. And then I think I should be warm by then. I think I'm going to head out immediately. We'll just leave the bear meat here. This is already 0%, right? Yeah, so there's not really much point in cooking it. Um, I can eat one of these. And then I've got a piece of wolf meat over at the community center. I really don't want to run out of food again, so I'll probably carry both of those. Carry two of them with me. I don't need to take the guts with me. Let's leave those behind. Um, where's my bow? Okay, I've got a 70% bow. I think I've got like a 4% one that I, that I left behind. Um, maybe I should take that other maple with me. I don't remember how many maple I have around. i take one more look upstairs. I'm really getting tired here. I think I'll take a uh, coffee. I'll uh, warm up a coffee before I leave. Let's take another maple along. I'm not going to completely clear this place out. I'm sure I'll be back here eventually. What do I do with those? Okay, there's the rabbit pelts. I'm gonna put these over here where they'll be easier to see if I'm ever in this area again. Gotta remember to take this with me. Mm, got everything from here. Okay. Carry that and that. Okay, I'm not too much over. Um, let's go ahead and take the last deer hide then. I feel like deer hide are harder to get. I've got more guts than I know what to do with back there, so I'll leave these here. Bear meat's fine. Probably take one more water. 
Okay, hopefully I'm not making a big mistake here. Uh, oh, right. Uh, let's warm up the coffees. I might drink one of these on the way over if I'm running out of energy. I just can't afford to sleep right now. Okay, six minutes. That's got plenty of time on it. Let's use... Let's take one more torch. Okay, hope I didn't forget anything. Let's go. Um, I guess this door? I think this is the best door to take. I'd almost certainly drink this coffee. I'm not sure I'm caring much more. Already lost the torch, which makes it much more likely, yeah, because it's cold in the wind. Yeah, we'll be drinking the coffee. Pull the um, flare gun out, since we're getting followed. Oh man, it's really cold. Um, yeah, let's just do this now. It sounded completely calm when I was inside. Maybe I didn't pay much, pay enough attention. Oh my goodness. Okay, at least I um, didn't drop the ball there. Are you chasing me? Sure looks like you're chasing me. Or are you just catching up? He might just be catching up. Now he's charging straight for me. What is going on here? Um, we might need another coffee. <laughs> Look at this crazy weather. Right, I need to not get lost out here. Fortunately, I still have flare shells left. Yeah, let's just do it. If I had realized that it was this windy, I probably would have never decided to make this trip right now anyway. But hey, we've got a lot of coffee. This is kind of a crummy region, so... Looks like we'll make the church. Go ahead and pick up one of these torches. Break down later. There shouldn't be any wolves ahead of me. They would have had to have come all the way across the river. Um, I guess one could have come from over there, like right through these trees. Doesn't look like that's the case. Take a second to grab a couple of sticks. Nope, not that. That probably would have gotten me killed if I was playing with a controller. Because I believe the button where you interact with a thing and then the one where you choose to break it are the same. Um, oh my goodness. I think I need to stop in here, actually. Get warmed up a bit before we get all the way over to the community center. Um, since I just kind of need to sit in here for a bit. Let's see. Wow, in eight minutes. Now, I think I should just break something down by hand. What time is it? Yeah, it's getting late. Um, I'll probably do that. Warm up for an hour. Oh, yeah, I'm nice and warm. Um, yeah, let's just do that. sure that I'm not messing anything. Okay. Yeah, there's a blizzard. That's fine. Let's 
stuck on the wheelbarrow. Um, okay, this way, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the community center there. All right, we made it. So two flare shells expended on that trip. Pretty crazy stuff. Oh, I thought I could get the door from this side. All right, extra bedroll. 35 calories. Let's just finish that off real quick. Right, and now we're going to have to do another pass at figuring out what I'm taking with me. I think I might just take all the cooking pots and cans so I can kind of have them set out in a few different places in my sort of base area of Coastal Highway. Oh, we've still got a lot of coffees in here. I think I'm not going to give up on this completely as a base. It'll sort of be like a mini base. A place where I can come if I'm just passing through on my way to Timberwolf Mountain or Black Rock. Yeah, that seems fairly reasonable. Let's see exactly how many cans I have. I got three cans and two cooking pots. Definitely going to take all three cooking pots with me. I think I'll take all the cans with me as well. It, the smart thing to do would be to leave one here, right? That way... If something happens where I'm coming through Pleasant Valley and I run into trouble and say I forgot all my cans, I would at least check this, right? And so at least if there's one here, then that would save me. Probably should have left one at the farmhouse as well, but this is kind of my main Pleasant Valley base. All right, well, it's getting late. Uh, we don't honestly have much left to do. I could repair these deerskin pants, but... I don't know that it's really necessary. Actually, these are getting to repair-worthy states. Oh, that is that absolutely is. Huh. Is this uh, bad water? Yeah. That's why I left that there. All right, I got some time to kill before morning. I think I'll go ahead and break this table down. We can check the cabinet behind it. Yep, empty as expected. I don't think there's anything else back here. Pretty dark in here now. I think I'm just going to be really overweight coming out of here. We'll go down to maybe just two or three torches. Gotta take the jerry can back with me. Don't necessarily need all the emergency food. We'll go through another piece of meat before we leave. I should eat the wolf meat that I've got sitting outside and uh, carry the bear meat with me. And actually, if I get to the... Um, if I get partway into Coastal Highway, I can leave some of that there as well. Did I leave any coal in here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm only going to take, I think, one piece. Because we're going to get a bunch. Oh, what? I've got so much coal. Why didn't I bring any of this with me? We're going to get a bunch when we go through the mine, so there's no point in carrying it up to the mine. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and sleep. I'll, um... 
go through all this in the morning when I can see better. And we'll go ahead and put our six hours in. I could have dropped that bear hide. Probably going to sleep for another four hours, so I think we'll do that. Got to remember to take it with me. That's the end of the blizzard, but it's going to be really cold now, so... I'll just go ahead and sleep until morning. Go ahead and put... I'll call it five, but we'll be fully rested. I'm going to pick it up now. Let's go check on the wolf meat. I like the fact that there's kind of a little bit of light in here so you can at least see a little bit of what you're doing without having to constantly turn your lantern on and off. One of the many things that makes this a uh, pretty attractive base. I'm going to quick stick to run. Go go check this hill out over here. I should restock on flares since I burned two on the way over here from the barn. There's some rustling going on. Negative 31. Yeah, there's a wolf right over there. He's pretty close. We're just going to kill the morning, trying to get organized, and then we'll uh, head out of the region. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Not tired enough to sleep yet. All right, let's see what we can afford to leave behind. Oh, the other thing I need to check. Did I leave matches here? Yeah, okay, so this is where all my matches are. Um, I think we're going to transfer most of these. Let's take a look at my notes. I didn't write anything down about this area because this was going to be my main base until I realized how unpleasant it was going to be in the valley. I think I have, um, two extra bedrolls now. I'm fine on my meters. Let's go ahead and make some notes. Um, I'm gonna say... So, this is... Community hall. And then, can I insert in here? Yeah, okay. So we've got um, matches, extra bedroll. I'm going to leave some of the teas here. Coal and wood. Okay, that's most of it. Sorry, I had to 
Cough suddenly there. Alright, let's see what state the bedroll is in. Let's go ahead and repair this. Okay, so we'll leave the better of the two here. So much water. Just gonna tidy up a bit. Those are nice. That one's not so nice. Leave this over here in the light. This is the area where you can actually see what's going on in the dark. Check some of these out. Yeah, let's just pick all these up and then uh, go through them. Once I get back to Coastal Highway, we're not going to have to worry about the torches as much. I think I'll leave any between around 30 and 40 here. Definitely get a couple hours of sleep in before we leave. Probably go ahead and do that now. Check for the sun anytime. In the uh, in the couple hours before we want to leave. Okay. Let's actually pick this up. We're going to drop this meat a little bit further over, like a pile of torches right here. I think I'll take um, three plus the one I'm going to grab from the fire when we leave. I will leave those books there for right now. Ah, right. Flare gun. Um... I wonder if that's all of my flare shells, or if I left additional ones somewhere else. Have that in my notes, maybe? Seems like something I would have noted down. Uh, right here. Okay. Don't see any mention of it. Interesting. Interesting. It feels wrong because the ravine should have had several flare shells, and Timberwolf Mountain, I think we got a full pack, which is like 10. I just used two now, but other than that, my rate of use has been extremely low. I used a third one um, on this trip into Pleasant Valley on the bear because I ran out of arrows. But other than that, I can only think of maybe two or three times that I've fired the flare gun, so it feels like I should have 10 plus flare shells remaining. All right, let's check the rest of this out, make sure I didn't leave anything... I'm checking here again. Okay, so I got plenty of coal and matches. I think we probably will. That's enough matches. That's going to last me a long time. We'll be back here at some point. And I'm going to find more matches in my travels. Uh, I got some plans to go to, I believe, Hushed River Valley next, but we'll see. Okay, so that's everything from there. We'll just leave the pistol here. We don't need another one. I think that's everything. Um... Probably should take these with me. Cured rabbit pelts can stay. I could do one last repair. Uh, 95 and 96. Never mind. Don't need to. Grab a couple more waters. Alright, let's leave a couple hours. And then I think we'll do clothing repairs and then leave.
Sounds completely calm. It's almost noon. Yeah, I'm overweight, which is unfortunate, but I think we're just going to have to accept it for the walk. I've also got that moose hide waiting for me. Negative 20. It's just going to get warmer, though. I do have access to a Magalens fire, but I really don't need to cook right now. We're just under half on my stomach, so I can go and eat that other piece of bear meat. And we'll have one left to carry with us. I kind of wish I could leave more of a stash here. Um... But we're going to have some at the barn. Make a note of that, actually. Just I know that I'll forget that. So barn has... Um, okay, I believe that's the important stuff at the barn. Wind is picked up. Um, let's take a look at clothing. I'm going to go over here and... Um, wow, I'm so slow right now. Just want to see what temperature I am if I sit in this car. Negative 12. Um, and I might be able to do one of the faster repair. Oh, that takes 40 minutes. Never mind. Okay, we'll just do it inside. It was worth a shot. If we were, like, negative 3 or something, I could get a few hours of repairs while being outside. do it from the clothing screen here because this way I can just view everything by condition and repair it as needed. Definitely can do the underwears. Those are well worth it. It's still windy out there. I think this will be the last one and then we'll sleep for an hour if it's still not calm. Oh, we got a blizzard. Perfect. Two whetstones at 100%, but my knife needs work. Let's take um, one or two more whetstones. Let's take one and one more sewing kit, I think. Yeah, it's okay. We've got fishing tackle if we need it. I know I've got a lot of stuff at the base here, so... Shouldn't lose track. Okay, we're definitely going to need to get under 45 when we leave. Seems like it's calming down. Let's go ahead and sleep for an hour, and this might be the opportunity to head out. Okay, it sounds calm. I think this might be it. Especially if we have the sun out, we can get a free fire. Too late. Only feels like negative 13. Curious. I'm not in the wind. It still only feels like negative 13. That's claiming that that's with the wind chill, though. I, I need to figure out exactly how the wind chill works. Is that because my clothing is canceling that off? Or what exactly... Or is that the effect after my clothing? I guess I could 
figure that out just by doing this. Wind chill is still negative 11. Okay, so it went from like 22 to 13, so that's a difference of 9. But this is a difference of 11. What sense does that make? Okay, so... 1.4... 1.9... Um, so that's a total of 3.3... Am I adding the right number? Um, 5.1, 5.9. So we have about 6 degrees of wind chill protection. It was 11. Which means I should be able to get the full benefit from that. Alright, something's off with the math there. I still don't understand exactly how the wind chill works. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to call this one here. Um, the weather seems pretty nice for travel, so we used the save just when I came in the door here. Um, even though we're going to have to burn a match when we travel, um, I think it's fine. I think we'll just do one last examination of all my gear, figure out exactly what I'm leaving versus taking along. Um, and then we'll head over to Coastal Highway. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.